Good morning, everybody. This is Danny from Deep South Homestead. We are back out on the seven foot high sidewall uh, greenhouse. We are actively working, trying to get this ready to put the plastic on. Now we have the greenhouse completely framed. We have everything done except some things that we want to do uh, that are personal preferences to the greenhouse to us. And the, the first personal preference was painting all of the lumber. We wanted it to look nice. We wanted all the lumber to have a protective paint coat over it. It's all treated lumber. The whole greenhouse is treated. So we wanted to put some paint over the treated lumber. It helps to reflect heat better. It just helps to brighten it up on the inside when we have our plants in there and growing. Everything just looks nicer. It looks cleaner when we do that. Now we still have to paint the insides of the raised beds and stuff like it in the greenhouse, but that'll come down the road. Right now we're just trying to get it up and trying to get it functioning. Now we still have our uh, wiggle track left to go on here. Uh, we hadn't put that on yet because we have reasons for that and we'll talk about that in another video. But right now, y'all saw us frame this video, uh, greenhouse up. We had our baseboard down, we had our hip boards in, but we also came back and put another run of lumber on the inside of both of these. And I know a lot of people probably had questions as to why we're doing that. Well, today you're going to find out. We ordered a roll of 1 8 inch hardware, 1 8 inch square hardware cloth, 3 feet high. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking this roll of hardware cloth and we're going to be attaching it to these two boards that we have here. Now we also put one at the end here because you can't nail the hardware cloth to the steel pipe. So we put a board here. Our wiggle track has got to go right here for our wiggle wire. And we'll put right beside it, the hardware cloth will begin and go all the way to the other end of the greenhouse. On both sides, this is where we have our roll up sides at. Now we've done that because in the summertime when we roll the sides up or in the wintertime either one, we want it where insects don't have free reign of our greenhouse. We want to be able to control the insect population as much as possible. Now there's no way to do it 100%, but this really helps at nighttime if we leave it up, it keeps the moths from coming in and stuff like that, laying eggs on our plants. So we're thinking this is something new we're going to try. We have absolutely nothing to lose from it. Plus it keeps things like rabbits from coming up here at night and hopping through here and getting into our plants and destroying them and things like that. I mean, we have the deer, anything can't get to our plants inside the greenhouse here so that they destroy them like squirrels and things like that. So we're going to put the hardware cloth on and we're going to see how that goes as far as being a benefit to us here at Deep South Homestead from growing our plants. Now you're going to see a lot more things that we do into the greenhouse. This is just one. We're doing all of this before we put the plastic on because we don't want anything to run the risk of puncturing the plastic. So we want everything done before we actually put the plastic on the greenhouse. Okay guys, we've got one side tacked on. We're gonna go back and we're gonna finish putting the rest of the staples in it. We've got it pretty much tacked in place. We've got a few places we're gonna have to work with a little bit, but other than that, first side's down. Time to move to the back.
All right, we have successfully made it down the back side of the greenhouse. Now it's just a matter of going back and uh, putting the rest of the staples in it. And we've come up with the idea we're probably going to come at each post. We're going to put a couple of UV treated zip ties on that to keep the wire from banging against the posts and stuff like that and help hold it in place during the wind storms. And it won't get where it flops and wobbles real bad like that. So, okay, just stay with us and you'll be able to see what's next on the greenhouse build.